The knee replacement and recovery programme at the Basingstoke and North Hampshire Hospital is carefully tailored to patients' individual needs. This approach to knee replacement and recovery means the treatment you receive will help you to get back to your normal everyday activities as quickly as possible. These videos will follow the patient's journey through knee replacement and recovery. A lot of patients as they get older get osteoarthritis of their knee and that's where the joint surface wears away so you get bone rubbing on bone and that gives them a lot of pain and discomfort. It restricts their walking, um, affects their ability to sleep at night and do a lot of the activities that they enjoy. Inside your joint is a lining that lines the end of the bone which we call the articular cartilage. And it's a friction-free surface that means the joint glides in a, in a nice way, uh, makes the joint move in a nice smooth fashion and stops you getting pain. And it's when that wears out that you start to rub and expose the bone underneath it that that is painful. Before I had the operation I was really struggling to get around. Um, once around Tesco's and I was finished for the day. Um, in and out of the car was a problem. I found it difficult getting down onto the ground to play with my grandchildren. Quite painful. My knee was quite painful. Um, it was preventing me from playing sports I love, which are golf, walking, all those sort of activity sports, which I've done all my life. It was really stopping me doing all the things I wanted to do. The majority of patients who have a knee replacement have that for arthritis, and that's normally osteoarthritis or wear and tear arthritis. So the ends of the bones and the cartilage are roughened. What we do in a, in a total knee replacement is, um, with very accurate saw cuts, we remove the arthritic ends of the bone and replace them with a metal and plastic prosthesis. So you're resurfacing the ends of the bone, and that gives a low friction, pain-free joint again. At the same time, it corrects any angular deformity, and by that I mean if your leg isn't straight, if it's crooked, then it straightens the leg. The new knee is brilliant. Um, it still catches me every now and again because it's only what, seven weeks since I had the operation. But uh, already I can walk so much further, I'm more mobile, um, I don't have to take any painkillers for it. Don't expect it's going to be a bed of roses, it's not that easy. It does require a lot of input, a lot of, in many cases, initially hard work on your behalf to get it really working. But if you put your trust in the various things that are given to you here, the physio work or the exercises you're given, and work at it, it will pay off in the end and you'll be like me, you'll be very satisfied with it in the end. The new knee changed my life dramatically. I could do everything that I wanted to. It means that I can do the things that I love to do in my retirement. The main aim of any form of knee replacement is to reduce pain in the joint and prevent it giving way. It will help to stop it swelling and will help to improve your quality of life. Patients should not expect us to wave a magic wand to, to have no pain in their knee and feel as if that they've had never had a problem. They will always know they've had a knee replacement. Well, primarily a knee replacement is to try and reduce people's pain. Um, as a consequence of reducing people's pain from arthritis, um, you can also normally incre in increase their mobility, improve your walking and, and basically improve your quality of life.